now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. A little chill of the air this afternoon, but you know what? It warmed up nicely in the 60s after that rain passed on through. So we got to 64 degrees. We do dip here the next couple of days. That cooler weather comes in. It'll be most noticeable in the morning as the dry air works its way in. And then we pop back up to 64 again on Friday, though there could still be a breeze around. Then the cool air will come in uh, as our winds begin to shift. Most of the cold will really be noticed in eastern Idaho, but in southwest Idaho, we'll get it as well as temperatures drop to the upper 40s with low temperatures running into the lower teens. So the colder than normal weather pattern continues. We'll take a look at the day planner for tomorrow. And temperature wise, it will be chilly and it stays chilly all the way through the morning in the upper 30s, that cool air. Then we start to get into the 50s, but the problem is we've got some wind to deal with, and that wind will be increasing through even in the morning, that cold wind chill factors that could take a look at what it feels like. We'll look at that in a moment here. See the wind increasing here. This is where we'll have our strongest gusts higher than 15. Those are just the sustained winds. And when you factor in the wind, uh, it keeps it chilly here for a while until the afternoon. We finally feel like it's in the 50s, but that's it. Lower 50s. We'll have plenty of sunshine during the day tomorrow, but it is going to be on the chilly side. Had that little front come through with the rain earlier today right about uh, 1030 to 1130 or just about 12 o'clock Boise area, then pushed on down to the south and disappeared. The clear skies have moved on and a few high clouds are drifting on through right now, and those will continue to move on through. But this little dip in the jet stream right here is that wave of energy went through. That brings just a little bit of cooler weather in. That's the next couple of days. But then once that goes by, that little ripple, like if you took a jump rope and just kind of shook it, that ripple would ride right along that, that wave. And this mild weather will sneak in for Friday. But after that, there's a big blast of cooler weather that's going to work its way in from the north and west. McCall had five hundredths of an inch of precipitation. It wasn't snow today. There was snow on the ground yesterday morning, but this morning it was rain as expected with those snow levels higher. And then you see the temperatures warming and the sun came out of beautiful. Look how flat calm the lake is here. Even though we're talking about some strong wind on some of the ridge tops, it has been uh, pretty decent. Temperature wise, the next couple of days in the 40s, we rise to 52 for the mildest day on Friday, but we go from 52 Friday to 37 on Sunday. 52 Friday afternoon to 19 Sunday morning. So big change coming in in the teens as we go to the middle part of next week. Let's take a look at this European forecast model now. It's the global forecast model. We look where you see the blue and pink. Those are the colder temperatures where you see the reds here and then this type of pink. That's the hotter weather. This low is a typhoon off the coast of Japan. This is coming from the tropics. It's going to work its way into the westerly jet stream flow. And as it does, it helps to intensify a low pressure system. Watch the cold air wrap in behind it right here. So this is now becoming an extra tropical low pressure system and it's rather strong. So the stronger the low, the faster we've got a circulation here, it draws that cold air down. And as I've mentioned before, when cold air is drawn down in one place in response to that, warm air will surge out ahead of it. And that's this ridge of high pressure here. Let's advance it a little bit further here and you see that surge of warmth right here. So warm air is shooting all the way up into central and northern Alaska while cold air is being blasted down here to the west. Well, here's the warm air going up to the north and then cold air because of that is now blasting right over Idaho here. And so this little extra surge of cold air that we get on Sunday is going to be intensified in response to a typhoon wrapping into that system. So uh, we will have that cooler than normal weather and it looks like it continues the 8 to 14 day outlook cooler than normal for most of the, the United States is likely. And it's beginning to look like that northern plains could be in for just quite a winter coming up with cold and snow and blizzards and all kinds of weather hitting northern Idaho to the points to the east. I'll be talking more about that, but a better chance for cooler than normal weather and drier than normal weather here over the 8 to 14 the outlook. So not a lot of precipitation coming in which I guess is OK as we go into November. Let's hope that we can start to switch this because this is getting into November here. But if we go towards the middle part of November, hopefully the uh, the uh, moisture flow will start to surge as we'll come back in and we'll get all that snow and get that fire hose blasting into the northwest. Nice deep blue sky and my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. We'll go into the 60s of the Western Valley and the wind will be lightest, but stronger winds south and east. And by afternoon, winds will be gusting over 30 miles an hour east of Boise towards Mountain Home. Blue skies up north. I've got partly cloudy. <clears throat> but I tend to think it will be mostly sunny in a lot of areas. A few puffy clouds around will be into the 40s. Stanley Sun Valley, I expect temperatures here in the 40s as well. So chilly and down to 20 in the morning in Stanley. My extended forecast shows a high of 64 on Friday. And look at this dip by Sunday. We're only at 49 and then 46 on Monday. It all depends on just how intense that cold weather uh, that cold plunge of air comes in. And if you think it's chilly here, eastern Idaho will be even colder.
I think temperatures in eastern Idaho will may only be running around 40 degrees, maybe even some upper 30s, Don, towards Idaho Falls early next week. So just trying Ooh. to make you feel better about the weekend coming up. <laughs> well, the, that 54 on Saturday looks a lot better than that 46 on Monday. Yeah, so. it does. But, you know, at least we get the sunshine. You have it's a jacket dry. in the morning. It's dry. It, it, it's dry. I think it will stay dry. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Scott.